Hi everyone, uh, my name is Uchechi Kalu and I'm the founder of Outlier Admissions, which is an online company that helps uh, high school applicants, high school college applicants like you, um, figure out the crazy college admissions process, figure out, you know, what do I need to be doing in high school with my extracurriculars, what classes do I need to take, what SAT scores do I need to do, um, doing all that planning in high school, and then um, when it comes to actually writing your application, really strategizing about how you put that all together and make it really competitive for dream schools, that can give you lots of money and go for free. So that's kind of what I really focus on with a lot of students is how can we get you as much money as possible um, with the schools that you apply to and with the scholarships that you apply to. And so um, my experience that brought me to this industry is actually that after I, I had never heard of like um, college counseling or application counseling uh, as, as a job or anything that anyone did. But um, I, after university, after high school, um, I went to Princeton University and I started studying languages. So my background was in Arabic and Middle Eastern studies and um, those are things I'm still very, very passionate about. Um, but that, that interest in language and the interest in different cultures actually ended up taking me to China after I left university. And so um, when I got there, that's when I learned about this industry of helping students get into really good colleges and then actually be able to afford to go. And it's, it's like a huge, huge, huge market there. And I thought, okay, but I've never heard of this in the United States. And I'm also from South Carolina. I grew up in South Carolina. And I certainly had never heard of it down here. And so I worked in that industry when I was in China. And then when I came back to the United States uh, almost two years ago, I came back and I wanted to bring the knowledge back here with me. So I wrote a book about it. And I started... Um, which is maybe what my average day is. It's like I started talking to parents all across the state of South Carolina, going to high schools, um, giving like free parent presentations and, um, and just teaching them about all the things that I had learned and all the things that they could do and or you could do right now to, um, to, to get where you want to go. And I think the best part of what I do is just that, like talking to families, telling people about things that they really want to know but don't really have the information about. I think that's always, um, for me, a really, really important thing that we can always do in the work that we do is, you know, how can we share knowledge with other people? Um, that's something that I'm just, I think, on a very base level, very attracted to. It's knowledge that's really important but that folks don't know. Um, and so how can we share that and spread that around faster and faster and faster, you know, and um, really learn as a community together. So that's that's the best part, I think, uh, talking to families, sharing just really important things that, that, are, that are crucial to your future and crucial to their own futures. And I think the hardest part... Um, is that, yeah, I what I do is not super well known in this region of the United States. Like in some regions of the United States, like in the Northeast or out West, there are a lot more people who do this kind of work. But here in the South, it's not. So um, there's a lot of education, like family education, that I have to do in order for them to be like, what do you do again? And like, why is it useful? And so um, just getting people to understand what it is that, that I do, it's probably the hardest part. But then when I get them in a room and I'm having a presentation and talking about um, how college counseling can really um, can really sort of transform a student's future, they're like, oh, okay, I get this. I've had these questions, but I didn't know who I could ask. I didn't know um, that this was even an option. Um, so I think even though it's really hard, it, there's actually a flip side to it. And in terms of... Uh, long-term career goals. Um, I'm a super eclectic person, so I'm also an artist. And I'm also a teacher. I teach at a high school as well. Um, and so, you know, I don't know what other people are going to say, but in terms of very long-term career goals, I'm not, I'm not completely sure yet. I know that I want to um, stay in education. I know that I want to continue doing work where I'm sharing uh, great information with people. And not just around college counseling. There are lots of um, lots of like little secrets and 
tri uh, tricks and tips, you know, things that I've um, seen from living abroad for so long that I think are really important for students' development. So um, I think over time, that's I think I just want to go a bit more broader uh, and not just focus on college counseling. There's a lot that I want to teach others about learning languages, um, as that, that's been a huge part of my background with, with Arabic and Mandarin. Uh, and, I, and I've seen just over time that in terms of life in the 21st century, it's uh, languages, like having another language under your belt, and under your toolkit, is something that is really, really, really crucial to um, being able to get jobs, being able to have a really flexible career. Um, and we see that flexibility is so important right now with COVID-19. So that's something that I think I want to move into is helping students learn languages and learn them very, very well, which is something that um, I think we're not necessarily very good at in this country. Um, so advice that I would give you about finding a career that you love is that you should like really follow your instincts. There's going to be a lot of people who are going to tell you like you need to become this or you need to become that. And I think I wasted a lot of, uh, wasted is a, is a strong word, you know, because maybe we don't waste time in our lives. It's just a perspective. But I think I spent a lot of time, um, in the past, in careers and career tracks. I was also working in PR and marketing um, before I, when I was in China. And in careers and career tracks that, that I think um, I thought was were like very respectable, you know, or that people would understand. Um, I wouldn't have like a lot of, you know, like raised eyebrows about, well, what do you, what do, you do kind of thing. And, and, and actually I think the word wasted is, is, is the right word. I think I wasted time. Um, moving into careers that were for other people. So you have to think about what it is that you really, really want to do and then create um, the resources, get the network, build the skills to get where it is that you want to go because this is your life, not your parents' life and not your teacher's life and not someone else's. It's your life. Um, and um, the more committed you are to the thing that you really want to do, I think that plays into to interviewing skills. I mean, there there are very, um, I guess, very specific things I could talk about with regard to interviews, which is something a question they wanted us to answer. But you know, having interviewed people, the most important thing is passion. Do you care about the thing that you're applying to? You always have to figure out a reason to care about it. Even if it's something that you feel like you don't care about it, but you need that job, you got to figure out a reason to care about it. Um, I think the hardest thing when I'm interviewing someone is just to see a lack of passion. It's just a feeling of like, yeah, I'm here. I want this job. Um, so it, it, if that were like an over, I this, this feels like a really, really, really long conversation about interviewing that we could go into. But I think number one, is figuring out what it is about that company. One thing, two things, three things, very specific things that you're passionate about and that you could add to, right? So it's like, I see this thing happening in your company. Because of the skills that I have, I could add to that. I could build on that. I could, you know, create that. Like what a business or a company or whoever is wanting is someone who is like really wanting to change. You want someone who's really wanting to build, so, you know, Who's really wanting to like put their own mark and put their own stamp who has energy um so on a really broad broad level that's what i would think about interviewing and then in terms of the job outlook for my profession for the profession of college counseling i think um i think for a while we'll definitely um, be out here and because the work is virtual um we're seeing especially in this time of COVID 19 that we're not as affected um at all actually in that in that respect um but you know we all know that college is way 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 too expensive and one of the reasons why i feel like i'm in this in this industry is because i'm trying to figure out ways for students to actually not necessarily circumvent the the college or university process it seems to be something that's really really important to our society as it is um but as but ways to like make it cheaper, ways to make it more accessible. I I I do not foresee that, you know, in the next 10, 15, 20 years that the prices are going to be skyrocketing in the ways that they are. Um and so I'm hoping that my profession and actually the work that I do now becomes more about 
you know, lobbying or out of our um, lobbying for for universities to change their financial policies. Um, you know, lobbying for for more schools to actually have access to the information that college consultants like me have access to. For uh, lobbying for more families to have more access to. Um, just the information. So I'm hoping that individual coaches like me actually don't exist. Um, to be honest, like I, I, I would like to write myself out of a job. I'd like to write myself out of this profession. I like it to go away in general. Um, and I, and I can foresee the profession moving in, in that direction. So, um, I hope this was helpful in some respect. My name is Uchechi Kalu. As I mentioned, you can find me out online at www.outlieradmissions.com. I'd love to talk with you at any time. So good luck with everything that you're up to and everything that you believe in. And um, stay healthy and stay safe.